In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and make the label for the neck of the bottle. Okay, so much like the last tutorial, we're going to go ahead and duplicate this geometry. And we're going to name this Beer Bottle Neck. Alright, and now with it selected, we're going to isolate it. We're going to delete our mesh smooth. And we're going to get rid of the geometry that we don't need from our front view. Okay, so we're not going to need everything up to about there a little bit more to there and top of the neck and also we're not going to need the inside i use element mode to get rid of that and also from the front view select our model there uh, from the view with the label up front i'm not going to need that geometry either so right about that much there okay so we're also going to need to unwrap this so unwrap UVW. We're going to select all the faces. We're going to run a cylindrical map on this. We're going to go up into our edit mode and make sure that our UVs are attached and they're not because the seam is in the wrong direction. We're just going to rotate this seam 180 degrees. Make this close. All right, to about there. We'll collapse that. And actually, I'm going to throw that UV unwrap on there one more time, just to tidy up those UVs there. So all those selected. I'm going to use my gizmo tool, if you can see that far up. And we'll just stretch this out. Okay, and we'll just grab all that and we'll scale it down just to fit. Okay, so now we can collapse this. We can throw our mesh smooth back on there. And I know from the last tutorial that I need to scale this up by one in order to fit. All right, and we're going to load up our material. And we're going to make a separate material. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and label this one. Um, label. All right, we're going to make some more room up here. And I'm just going to close this. We're not going to be revisiting this for, the while, for a little while. So I'm going to just minimize all these and clean that up a little bit. And we're not going to need this material much longer, but we'll keep it for now. All right, we'll make a new material, Mental Ray, Arc and Design. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and bring in a standard bitmap. And this time we're gonna grab the neck diffuse. All right, we'll put that onto the diffuse color map. We'll set this to view and viewport and this one to show hardware map and viewport. And we'll select the, geom the material and a geometry selected. And we'll set assign to material selection. We'll get the time to load, and there you go. And again, if I select my bitmap and turn off tile, well, it'll work this time because we turned on. Oh, it didn't work this time. That's good. So we'll go to view, show materials, and viewport as standard display with maps. Okay, so now we're ready to go ahead and uh, position this material. So just give yourself some room here. Make sure you can see this. Okay, we'll load up our reference material, and you can see that this too also you can never see from one angle. It tends to wrap around enough so that you can never see it all at once, and it seems to almost be perfectly dead center within the, the neck, and I would say there's even room on each side with about maybe two inches or so, about the same distance as the bottom of the beer bottle to the label starts to the neck to, so it's pretty even. All right, so. We almost have it dead on already. Just want to, we're a little bit too far stretched. So we're just going to bring this inwards. I'm trying to look from this view. I have to move this around a little bit. We're stretched out too much here. Nope. It's good. Okay, now it was in the middle of the neck. And. about there okay so we're going to do the same thing for the cutout we're going to create a map standard bitmap this time we're going to grab the neck label alpha and we're going to drop this into the cutout we'll double click on the neck bitmap we'll take a look at its uh, tiling 1.6 0.9 so 1.6 0.9 
0.9 and we're going to turn off tiling and we're going to go back and check we need to set our V offset to negative 0.02 okay you can see in the viewport that our labels are now on the model they have a little bit of reflection they're pretty tight up against the model as well okay in the next uh, tutorial we're going to go ahead and uh, set the textures up for the cap and then we can go on setting up the lighting and start getting some uh, realism here on the bottle.